Righty ho. So far we've only worked on row 1. Now we need to replicate what we've done and put it in row 2, 3 and 4. And it's not quite that simple. What we do, we go into the code and first off we'll pick out the computer bit. Okay, dead easy. Control C, Control V. Change what 1 to what 2. And back over here to what one to what two and then we make sure that we do a select on what two and make sure that it's unit two that changes each time okay right if you just hang around a second I'll do that to the rest of them as well okay so there's my four what statements sorted out not the most efficient code in the world but what the heck it's not that big either now we're going to do a similar thing for the quantity. Now remember that the quantity is the thing that everything else hinges around, so it's quite important. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy it. Okay, and then once again we change where it says 1 into 2. There's that one, that one, that one, that one and that one. Now the rest of this section of code here is exactly the same. It doesn't need to change at all because it's acting on something that's cha changes, that, that stays the same throughout. So we're going to end up having loads and loads of code that's exactly the same. Well, that's kind of boring. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it and it will make our code a lot clearer as well. What we're going to do, we're going to copy this code and then after this subroutine here we're going to create our own. We're going to create a public rather than a private subroutine, so that means it's uh, available throughout the program. And I'm going to call it change. Oops, change stuff, and put two brackets after it. Then in that subroutine, I put all the code I just put in there. Okay, so I delete this then from here up to this point here, and instead of typing all that code I just type in change stuff so what's going to happen is it's going to change the little bit that stuck with quantity 2 and then it's going to call it so if I do the same up here don't need that just to change stuff then just run it okay built fine that's good. So, here's my first line, my second line, my third line. Let's make that Fujitsu just to be different. Okay, now my quantity here, I have two there, updates everything. Watch what happens when I do this. Three there, cost updates there, quantity updates, and everything there. Of course, when I do it here, nothing happens because I haven't done three and four yet. What I need to do now then is copy what I've put in QT1 and QT2 into QT3 and QT4 and I'm done. If you hang on a sec I'll do that right. while you wait. So there we go, just finished that. If I now run you'll notice that if I just pick one for each line Cost gets updated, cost gets updated, postage gets updated in the invoice total, and there you go. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the print key.